Over the last couple of days, lots of drama has begun brewing over Hayden Deegan. It seems now there is enough information out for us to have a discussion about all sides of this debate. So let's start with what happened. At the recent Loretta Lynn's Amateur National, one of Hayden Deegan's classmates named Brendan Schofield claimed Deegan's star Yamaha bike. For those of you who don't know by now, there is an AMA rule in place allowing anyone to claim a racer's bike at Amateur Nationals. This means once claimed, they are purchasing their race bike for double MSRP, at Loretta Lynn's anyway. This rule is in place to level the playing field, ensuring that people try to keep their race bike as stock and cheap as possible to avoid losing out if claimed. So what's the big deal with this? Well, Brendan Schofield claimed he wanted to buy the bike to produce a YouTube video about it. But the rumor is that Schofield was also pressured into claiming his bike by an engine builder so that he can learn what Star Yamaha does different. Obviously, Star Yamaha wouldn't want to let their secrets out to the public, but they should have known beforehand that this was a possibility. Anyway, at the time of Deegan's bike being claimed, he still had a race to do. Star Yamaha proceeded to change the engine out with the approval of the AMA. Although they changed motors, they were required to tag the original one for the claimant. After the race, Brendan Schofield redacted his claim on the bike. This is extremely odd. The AMA official who met with Schofield even required him to say on record that he wasn't pressured by anybody to change his mind. So this is what the controversy is all about. Was this kid paid off or threatened in order to keep Deegan's factory bike out of the public's hands, or was it something else? Schofield's team claims that there wasn't any funny business. It was just that a sponsor thought the attention looked bad and convinced him to redact his claim. So what do you guys think about the Hayden Deegan ordeal? Was there any funny business involved? Or did the kid genuinely just have a change of heart? Let us know what you think in the comments.